Why are we sleeping in this murderous spot with shitty blankets and pillows in this tiny little car? Because we're going to watch Liverpool in the Champions League <laughs> final in Madrid. Oh, I'm so glad that I'm psyched for that. Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma and this is Alex and we are digital nomads who have been traveling the world for the past seven years. Today is the start of either our most stupidest trip to date or our most <laughs> genius one. <laughs> At seven o'clock this morning, we left our hotel in Turkey and made our way to the airport. Here we got to have our last Turkish breakfast, at least for a couple of weeks, because the plan is to go back to Turkey after a quick detour here in Spain. So our original plan was to travel around Turkey for around a month. However, something came up. We had to make a detour. Why, Alex? Why have you dragged me to Spain? <laughs> so my football team is called the mighty Liverpool FC. <laughs> and they have reached the Champions League final, which is being held in Madrid. We're here in Barcelona and we're going to make our way, starting today, slowly to Madrid. One of the reasons why we thought this was so genius is because not only the flight prices were so expensive, but accommodation in Madrid was in the thousands per night for this final. And we thought, how could we possibly save a bit of money? <laughs> We've hired a car, a very compact sized car should we say and we plan to sleep in it <laughs> this is the party hostel <laughs> welcome to the party car oh, God. <laughs> Luckily, when we got here, the car rental company gave us an upgrade which we hadn't anticipated because we decided to buy the cheapest, which is the <laughs> smallest car. <laughs> and Although we have big dreams, we have a small budget, guys. <laughs> and to our surprise, they've given us the most comfortable car in town. It's very it plush. so soft. Mm. Can you see how squidgy this is? <laughs> This is great for sleeping in. Luckily, neither of us are particularly tall as well. So having a compact car isn't the end of the world. I'm a little worried about how I'm going to sleep with the steering wheel in my face. I'm but... trying to see. How do I recline this? Oh, okay, here we that. go. That's okay, it. Okay, so this is how it's going to be <laughs> for the next four nights. You know I love you, right? <laughs> <laughs> but this isn't comfortable enough on its own. We have decided first to go to a supermarket to go and buy some provisions like blankets. Actually, we might not need blankets. It's so hot. Yeah, maybe we don't want like a full-on duvet, but maybe like some sheets and some pillows and stuff just to make us comfortable. Maybe like something to cover the windscreen so people can't watch us sleep. <laughs> We've been thinking that we are little geniuses for the last like, week or so because we were able to come here and not spend the thousands. And as soon as the plane landed in Barcelona, Emma turned to me and said, how are we going to shower? <laughs> we haven't thought about that. It didn't cross our mind. Uh, that is pretty disgusting, I know. I might not look like someone that showers that regularly, <laughs> but I can assure you I do. <laughs> hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright we got our provisions, guys. We have everything. So for 25 euros, which is less than one night's accommodation by far <laughs> anywhere that we've seen in Spain so far, we have got enough for a comfy sleep. <laughs> so we've got ourselves two big, pretty comfortable pillows. We then got this to block out the sun, but also for the prying eyes. So yeah. any of you snoopers out there, you're not gonna see us. Speaking of prying eyes, we also have covers for the side windows as well. Not the back ones. If people are willing to look through the back to peek at us, then fair play to them. Then we've both got ourselves a blanket each. <laughs> and also if anyone's thinking, oh, that's so wasteful guys, Emma's mum lives in Spain and we're gonna go and see her. So we're just gonna dump it all at her house. <laughs> and then for keeping clean, we. <laughs> <laughs> we have some baby wipes and some deodorant. Well, don't judge because this isn't. This is the absolute backup. This yeah. is not. Just, this is not first option. <laughs> <laughs> first option is shower, like maybe a gym or a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. But as the absolute backup, we're gonna wet our bodies with that. <laughs> Right now we are considering staying here in this car park tonight because it's huge 
and it has free Wi-Fi in the supermarket and we want to get a video out tomorrow and there's a cafe that we can go and edit from now. We are also only 45 minutes away from the place that we plan on going tomorrow so it could be kind of perfect to stay here tonight and then get up early tomorrow and just head off. So obviously we don't have a kitchen or anywhere to really prepare much in the way of food um, so we'll probably just be getting snack stuff from the supermarket throughout the evening but for starters we've gone for a lovely fresh baguette and Emma's favorite she is addicted to this whenever we come to Spain it's alioli it is so good it is just garlic heaven it's a garlic party in your mouth now what I always do every time I get to Spain I go to the supermarket is I go and get myself some chorizo here's one I've already started gnawing <laughs> on earlier <laughs> It is crazy cheap. So for two of these was two euros and it also came with a free knife, but <laughs> I didn't need it. <laughs> we spent the rest of the evening editing videos in the cafe and we actually changed our minds about staying at the giant Carrefour car park mainly because it was just completely emptying out we started to feel like we were sticking out like a sore thumb in there we did not want to get moved on in the middle of the night so we decided to drive 10 minutes down the road to another Carrefour that's 24 hours which also has the added bonus of toilets in the middle of the night which is great uh, just over there you can see that there's actually quite a few trucks and vans and I think people are sleeping there so I think we're pretty safe. Yeah it feels like more of a rest stop than the Carrefour we're at before so hopefully we'll be able to get a full night's kip. And when I say we're pretty safe I mean slave for sleeping this place does not look <laughs> murder free. <laughs> It does seem a little bit creepy. Now we are going to settle in for the night. We are exhausted. And also we want to wake up early to continue to edit, to finish a video so that we can have a full focus day of travel tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so sorry guys for the kind of boring day today, but tomorrow will be better. I would go and help her, but it's really funny to look at her face. <laughs> I don't think it's actually going to work. <laughs> oh, classic. It's not working! <laughs> it's too big! <laughs> size that's too big. I can't believe more people don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm oh, a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Up yours oversized thing. <laughs> we have racing cars on them. <laughs> I thought they were black. <laughs> Look at how cool we are. <laughs> what does it even do? It's Comfortable? <laughs> Depends what you mean by comfortable. I don't think sleeping in a seat is ever fully comfortable, let's face it. There's your blanket, Al. Feels really good quality. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's not a proper sheet. That's one of the ones that go on the bed with the little stretchy edges. <laughs> I'm starting to think that our genius idea is not so genius. <laughs> I mean, it was quite apparent from the start. We're just ever the optimist. <laughs> Why are we sleeping in this murderous spot with shitty blankets and pillows in this tiny little car? Because we're going to watch Liverpool in the Champions League <laughs> final in Madrid. Oh, I'm so glad that I'm psyched for that. Hello. You're on camera. I, for the sake of our viewers, I won't show my face. You must. I'm so tired. I woke up like a thousand times. Tell them. How was it? No. <laughs> it was horrible. I was so cold. And I had a jumper on, which I only remembered about two hours ago. I'm proud of us, guys. Are you proud of the beans saved money and slept 
trapped in a car and we're horribly uncomfortable, right? Are you? We are awake, alive and well. <laughs> After two coffees, I am feeling a lot more human. <laughs> So for me, staying here last night wasn't really that bad. Mm. I woke up a lot, but I think that's just natural when you're sleeping in a car behind a quite scary little 24-hour garage. I think, yeah, when I first woke up, I felt pretty dreadful, to be honest. But to be fair, we just had a travel day, and as Al said, I woke up a lot during the night, and I woke up feeling really cold and groggy. But after a couple of hours and a couple of coffees, I am feeling much fresher, um... It actually was nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. And for the amount of money that we've saved, I feel I can do this for the next four nights as we have planned. Yeah, I'm actually quite excited. And the first night's always a bit of a rough run when it comes to like camping or something like that. So I feel like tonight we're going to be more prepared. We're going to be warmer for sure. And yeah, I think we'll get a better night's sleep. We've spent all morning looking around for places with power so we could charge our laptop and finish and edit and release a video before we film today. And that proved more <sighs> difficult than we planned. Yeah. So in some cities, it's actually pretty easy to find cafes with an abundance of power outlets, uh, which is very good for us digital nomads. However, Spain is proving to be a little bit more difficult than that. So we went to at least five cafes this morning and none of them <laughs> had power. We then realised how lucky we were at Carrefour to get somewhere to charge our laptops yesterday. Mm. So we decided this morning to go to another one en route and it didn't open till nine. So we waited patiently for about half an hour for the shutters to come up and I got to go inside, nothing. <sighs> We then googled cafes in the nearby area and went to the first one on the list and lo and behold we found a power outlet. And not just that, some of the fastest Wi-Fi I've <laughs> ever seen. I couldn't believe my luck. So we were able to upload a video after sleeping in the car. Very proud of that actually. Yeah, I'm very, very happy. You might notice that we are wearing the same clothes as yesterday. We are going to go and find somewhere... <laughs> we're going to go find somewhere now to freshen up and then film our next vlog. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching our crazy slash genius travel day. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't recommend this to be honest <laughs> to anyone, but if you are the adventurous type, it works. We survived. We might smell bad, but we're here. And also wait until a few videos time because maybe in a few videos we'll be like, that was genius. It got so much more comfortable and so much easier. So who knows? It can't get more comfortable. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and leave us a comment. Have you guys ever done something so crazy as to just sleep in a car on the side of the road in a foreign country? From our car, our home, our kitchen and our bathroom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thanks no. very much for watching and beans out! <laughs> Guys, I want to come out with something cultured and intelligent to say to you. But all I can think right now, looking at that rock, is how much it looks like a giant penis. <laughs>